I'm Dovey with Simply Dovey and welcome back. If you're new here, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. As you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make six DIY Dollar Tree Valentine decor items. I'm really excited to show you these, so if you want to see how I made them, then continue watching. First, I'm going to show you how I made this cute heart banner. And I used these heart picks from the Dollar Tree. They have them in pink and red. And also, I'm going to be using embroidery floss. You can get this actually from Michaels. They don't sell it at Dollar Tree, but it's cheap enough. It's under a dollar. And also, I'm going to be using this embroidery needle. I started off by removing all of the styrofoam hearts from the picks. And the last step is just I took my embroidery thread and I threaded it through the needle and then I threaded that through the styrofoam hearts. And I did find that sometimes um, the needle would come kind of go out the side of the heart. So uh, I had to be really careful to make sure that it went straight through the middle of the heart. For the ones that did go outside the heart, I just pulled my needle back out and then I pushed the styrofoam down. With the red ones, you can kind of see the white on, uh, the pink ones not so much. And I just added as many hearts as I wanted and then I tied off the end of my string so my hearts went and slide off. And after I finished that, it was ready to hang. Next up is this heart banner picture frame. This one is so simple, but yet I think it's so cute and it's really easy to make. I am using these foam heart stickers from the Dollar Tree. In the package, there are three different sizes and three different colors. I'm going to be using an eight by 10 photo frame from the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be using red acrylic paint. This obviously didn't come from the Dollar Tree, but it's cheap enough that you can get it from any craft store. They do sell the smaller bottles as well, which is pretty cheap. And I'm going to be using white embroidery floss, the same one that I used in my previous uh, heart banner. And I'm going to be using a sponge brush. I'm first going to take my frame and I'm going to remove the backing and the insides of the photo frame. Next, I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors. You can use pliers if you want. And I'm gonna remove those clips that actually hold the glass in because I don't need them for this project. So next I'm gonna take my red paint and I'm going to paint my frame with it. And it does take several coats uh, to get a good coverage over it. You can use um, red spray paint if you want. If you have some white primer, you can prime the frame first before painting. That way it will take less coats. But all in all for this one, it took about four coats to get a solid coverage. To make the heart banner, I'm using the small and the medium size heart stickers out of that pack. And since they are stickers, I'm going to use two of the same to make one uh, heart on the banner. So I'm peeling the backing off and then I'm going to stick this, attach it to my string by placing my string on top of it. Then I'm going to peel the backing of the second heart in the same color and the same of size, and then just place it on top of the other heart and just sandwich that string in between. I did have to take my time with doing these because these stickers are really sticky and if I placed it on there wrong and didn't line it up correctly, there's no way that I would be able to get it pulled back up. The last step that I did was I laid my banner across the frame where I want it to go. Then I took my hot glue and I just glued my string to the inside of my frame. And then I just trimmed the excess string that was hanging over my frame. And this is the finished frame. I think that it turned out really cute. Next up is this heart rag wreath. I really love how this one turned out and I believe this is my favorite one in this video today. For this project, I am using a red shirt that I got from the Dollar Tree. This one is in the size extra small. I'm going to be using a hanger and a pair of pliers. The first step that I did was I took my t-shirt and I cut both the front and the back into about one by three inch strips. The next thing I did was I took my hanger and I opened it up and then I started shaping it in a heart. Um, I do have floral wire here, but I did not end up using that. I thought that I would use it to connect the two ends of my hanger back together, um, but I didn't. I just wrapped the ends back together, which it was kind of tough. This hanger was a bit stiffer, um, but in the end, I think that I got a pretty good heart shape out of this hanger. 
The final step on making this heart rag wreath is I, by attaching my cutout strips of the shirt onto my hanger. So I just take it, each strip, and I tie it in a knot around the hanger. And I just love how this turned out. It's really easy. The hardest part is the hanger. <laughs> And after I have all of my strips of fabric on there, I just fluff it out a little bit and then it is finished. The next one is this rose heart floral arrangement and this one I believe is the easiest project. I'm going to be using this glass heart dish that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm also going to be using these red roses that I got there. I'm using these clear glass marbles. Um, I did not pick those up from the Dollar Tree, but I already had them on hand and I just thought that they would look cute with this project. So I'm going to take these marbles and pour them in the heart dish. And then I'm just going to cut down my red rose stems and then stick them in the dish. So that is how easy it is to make this one, but it still looks pretty nice. Next up is the Valentine tree. For this valentine tree, I'm going to be using some branches that I found in my yard and I made sure that I picked some that were about the same size. Also, I'm going to be using some white ribbon in the size 3 millimeter. They don't sell that type of ribbon at the Dollar Tree, but they do sell the balloon curling ribbon, so you can use that and it will work just the same. I'm going to be using some white spray paint primer, but you can use white acrylic paint or you can actually leave the branches as they are. I'm also going to be using these um, heart picks. These are kind of the same as the other ones that I used in my heart banner, but these have these are a bit fluffier. And I got these in both red and pink. I'm going to start this project off by taking my branches outside and spraying them with my white primer. Next, I'm going to take my heart picks and I'm going to remove the hearts from the pick. Next, I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to cut them into about five to six inch strips. Next, I'm going to take my hot glue gun and glue those ribbon strips onto my little hearts. Now it's time to set the tree up. I am using some foam block that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just sticking that down into the bottom of the pitcher. And I am using the foam block to keep my branches in place. And after I have my branches in place and how I want them, I'm going to stick my heart ornaments on my branches. And I love how this little Valentine tree turned out. I think it's really cute. So the last DIY project that I'm gonna show you is this white rose floral arrangement. I got this glass candle holder from the Dollar Tree and I'm also going to be using some white roses from the Dollar Tree. I also picked up a white candle in case I wanted to use that instead of the flowers. I picked up this pink burlap ribbon and also I'm going to be using a red strip from the t-shirt that I used for my heart tag wreath. I'm going to start it off by taking my pink burlap ribbon and hot gluing it around my candle holder. Next I'm going to take that red strip and I'm just going to go ahead and place a little bit of hot glue and then I'm going to fold the end over. Next I'm going to take my longer strip and I'm just going to twist that around and then I'm going to place a bit of hot glue and go ahead and attach that and I'm going to continue going around and building up and making my rows. So every so often I will place up uh, some hot glue and then I will just twist the ribbon around and when I get to the end, I will place um, some hot glue on the bottom of my rose and then I will just go ahead and tuck that end under. And now I'm going ahead and hot gluing that fabric rose onto my burlap. So the last thing I did is I took my white flowers and I already cut them down with some wire cutters and I bunched them up together in a little bouquet and I took a clear one of those clear plastic hair ties and I wrapped it around the stems that way they would stay in the little bouquet and then I just stuck my bouquet in the glass. I did make two of these so I put the rose bouquet in the one and I put the candle in the other and I like how they both look so I will be using both of these. So those are my six DIY Dollar Tree Valentine decor items. I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below letting me know which one is your favorite. And also, let me know which one you plan on making. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.